How's work? Work is cool. It's just taxing, uh, but it is what it is. Can't complain. There's a lot of people that have been getting laid off here and there in tech. Um, yes. What's happening? Why are people getting laid off in tech? I thought tech was the one industry that if you knew what to do with a keyboard, you were making money. There are a bunch of companies that were not profitable in the latter part of this super cycle. Okay. That now are finding it hard to raise money. Hmm. And so they're either shutting down entirely or in an, in an effort to make themselves profitable or get closer to profitability, they're cutting people. Okay. Or, or they're either cutting a staff, you know, people that have already been hired or they're in a hiring freeze. Okay. Or on top of that, they'll fire people that like literally just got hired like a week ago or something like that. Hmm. Some have even canceled internships and that's really shitty because, you know, some kids have, have turned down other internship offers only to find out, you know, this most recent summer that, Hey, that internship that you accepted back in December of last year, that summer internship of, for summer 2020, uh, 2022 is not there for you. And now it's too late because the, the internship recruiting is ridiculously. Right. You have to apply there. months in advance, right? Yeah, you have to apply in December of the year prior for that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even earlier than that, sometimes, I mean, that, that shit actually kicks off in like September. The internships, especially at these, you know, prestige places to start your career, the top consulting firms, the top investment banks, the top tech companies, those internships are harder to get than the actual full-time jobs. Right. Yeah. Are they paid? Yes, they're paid. They tend to pay well, but, and, and, and you know, if you have one of those name brand internships, on your resume, then it's going to really help you when it comes to getting a high paying job out of college. So people tend to stress out about them a lot. And so, you know, for example, Facebook slash meta, like they cut some interns in, in Ireland, I believe. And it was like, yo, I, I had all these other internship offers. I turned them down because Facebook was a better brand name. And now I don't have, I thought I was going to have Facebook on my resume and now I don't. So but what's going on with Facebook? Why are they suddenly acting like they don't have any money? They don't know. Oh, well, people are spending less money to advertise um, because generally speaking, with the inflation and with the way that the Fed is combating inflation by raising interest rates, businesses in general feel uncertain about the future. And so they don't want to uh, spend money. Got it. Yeah. And the tax hike didn't didn't help. But that wasn't like the main thing that crushed everything. A giant fly just landed on my screen. I'm going to try to kill it. I've been trying to kill this fly all day, but he's been all, all about. Because that fly is a thug, bro. Yeah, this fly, this fly is a thug. This fly has been in the yard. This fly looks like he's been working out. Like, seriously. <laughs> he's been in the yard. I feel like, I, I hope I got that motherfucker. This thing is fat. For real. Wow. You've been eating good in your house. Yeah. And like I could, I could go. We could do a whole episode on like what's going on in the economy. The Fed literally just raised interest rates again in an effort. Yeah, to and combat it absolutely inflation. cooled the housing market too. Yeah, it, it's cooled off the housing market. And yeah, so if, if you're an unprofitable tech startup that was relying on VC money, it's harder for you to raise money right now um, because you were the the revenue that you were getting probably was coming from other un unprofitable tech startups. And and the money that was your runway is coming from VCs that are like, mm, we'd rather throw our money at, you know, established startups that are about to go public or just hold on to our cash right now. So, yeah, it's it's harder out there. What strange times we're living in. Mm -hmm. Well, what's Very interesting also time. is in California, Gavin Newsom wants to fight inflation with inflation, which is interesting with with inflationary policies. So like. He wants to give everybody money as a like gas rebate type thing, like to help with high gas prices in California on people's taxes. They can, they're, they're, he's going to push more money to people for that. Mm -hmm. Like a tax rebate. Um, it, it might even come in the form of just a direct check. I'm not 100% sure, but you're throwing money at the problem of inflation when. Right when we were talking about, oh, my God, high gas prices. Oh, my God, high inflation. California just instituted a new tax on gas. 
If you wanted to do something about high gas prices, the wow. first thing you should have done is say, let's not do that new tax on gas that we planned on doing. And maybe let's roll back some of the existing gas taxes. My God. And, and gas is already super expensive in California. Isn't it about six dollars a gallon? Yes. That's insane, man. Yeah. But I, I think Gavin Newsom's trying to buy votes because he's clearly running for president. So he'd rather frame it instead of a tax cut, because that sounds like Republicans, even though this is a, a tax cut for regular people. I, I think Democrats can run on that. Um, but instead of that, he I think he thinks the political calculus is to, hey, I did a gas tax. I, I did a gas stimulus type thing or whatever. So we'll, we will see how that works out. We can do a whole breakdown on on what that field of candidates looks like in the future, as well as, you know, midterm elections coming up. Midterm elections are coming up and it looks like finally, for the love of God, um, Warnock is pulling ahead of Herschel Walker as he should from a sheer intelligence standpoint. This is politics aside. We need to stop voting for idiots, Mm -hmm. period. I don't care what party they're in. If you are not knowledgeable about the role you're stepping into and your life seems to be in shambles, you are not to be considered an eligible candidate. I don't know why we're not all in agreement on that. But he was good at football 30 years ago. Right. And that's wonderful for football. I don't know why that qualifies you to be in Congress. So I'm hoping that the distance that Warnock has gained over Mr. Walker remains steady. And again, for me, you know, it's not a political party preference. It is an intellectual savvy preference. And I hope the pendulum swings in the direction of brain power. Yeah. And let's let's break it down, because someone pointed out that, you know, Herschel Walker, black people specifically should feel insulted about this, or at least I do. I, I don't I don't I don't want to tell other people how to feel. But this guy is the spitting image of what white people in Georgia think of black people. Athletic. Absolutely. History, history of aggressive Absolutely. behavior. Deadbeat dad who didn't take care of, you know, all of the other kids that he had outside of wedlock. Okay. Has issues with violence and, and aggression. Uh, I yep. guess I kind of mentioned that before. Um, barely literate and clearly not very smart. Oh. And they believe that we are all, or at least enough of us, will vote for this guy because he was good at football, that that will help put them over the top because there's guaranteed a whole bunch of white folks that are just going to vote for him just because he's a Republican. And, and just all the Republicans in, in Georgia are going to vote lockstep for whoever the, the nominee is. But they think so little of us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Agreed. I concur. That candidate should have been an insult. Yeah. It should have been insult to Christians. It should have been an insult to the people who claim to support family values. It should have been an insult against people who are truly patriotic and truly believe in the power of voting. It should be insulting to anyone who has children to hold this person up as someone who should be a representative in any way, shape, or form of what the people stand for. There is no reason to accept candidates that are unqualified of any race or gender. We mm-hmm. need to start being smart and stop leaning into identity to pick people who aren't even necessarily speaking for us. Yeah. And on top of that, he he clearly is just going to do what he's told. Right. And he's a liar. Right. Now, there are plenty of intellectual Black conservatives that are not famous Heisman winning football players that right. you could have went and got. You could have got Absolutely. A, a Ben Thomas Carson Sound. Right. type. You Thomas Sound got, of the world. Yeah. Exactly. You you could have gotten one of those. Right. Uh, Alan Keyes comes to mind, who ran against Barack Obama in Chicago for Senate and lost. But you could right. have got, went and found a Black conservative. Who's who not got, an idiot. Thank you. The idiot part is the insult part. It's the, it's almost the joke. It's the tongue in cheek part. Let's it, wheel out either a dancer, a, a, a rapper, or a football player, and they'll come. We should we should all be insulted by that. We should all be insulted by that. 